All right, our first course of action is going to be to bring all of the files back into an Adobe file uh, to mix. So I'm going to open Audition, and I'm going to go to Multitrack, and I'm going to call this Mario Trailer Mix. And we're going to set it to a location that is not on that weird Y drive. It needs to be on your external drive, uh, prefer you know where the files are. And we don't need a template. Sample rate 4800 will work fine, and we'll say OK. Now I'm going to hit Control I, and I'm going to import those tracks uh, from the folder from last week. So I'm going to import the movie file, and I'm going to import the music track this time. OK, I'm going to bring in the video track. It's going to pop the video track there. Here I've got the dialogue track and I can bring in the music track as well. And first order of business will be to rename these. So we'll call this dialogue. We'll rename this to music. And I'm gonna move this track down actually. I'm gonna leave three tracks in between. What we wanna do is we wanna name these for sound effects close. We're going to name this one sound effects. Let's keep that consistent. Sound effects medium. And sound effects far. And what this is going to let us do is we're going to be able to bring in uh, the sound effects that you made last week. You'll import that, bring it into a track down here. And what you're going to do is you're going to set these up. Uh, you're going to uh, chop up the file and you're going to move them to the various tracks based on how close that sound is to the camera. So the closer it is to the camera, uh, you know, we'll put it on the close track, medium and far. And we're going to make some settings and adjustments that are going to let us um, process those sounds just a little bit differently based on their positioning uh, from the camera. Now we can go over to our mixer view and I'm going to dock this window up there for a second. Now we can see just a reminder up here. This is saying that all of our tracks are heading out to the mix channel. So that's down here. All right, and we can put a couple of things on the on the mix channel. Number one, we're going to want to put a limiter. So we're going to want amplitude and compression hard limiter. All right, and this is limiting it to minus 0.1 dB. Uh, we can actually switch that to light maybe and adjust this to minus two. That's a common delivery uh, spec. So this is gonna have a little bit of an input boost to it, um, which can be nice. That, that uh, really juices it up and gives a little bit of uh, energy to the mix. Um, but this is gonna cap it off and make sure that nothing out of there is gonna hit over minus two. And that's, that's both for delivery purposes and just for your ears. Second thing we want to add on here is under the special tab and we want the loudness meter. All right, so when we're looking at the loudness meter, let me jump over here and we'll find a section right in the middle and we'll go ahead and uh, hit play here. Bowser is coming. And you're going to be able to see on the meter here, we are tracking some numbers. Now for YouTube, we want this integrated volume to be minus 14 over the entire length of the trailer. So as you're uh, mixing in your sound effects, this is actually what's going to be the more useful tool for measuring the overall loudness is by checking this, uh, this integrated number here. So you'll watch the trailer go by and we're looking to see um, if this stays in that minus 14 range. Uh, we want the tr the peak to be minus two, somewhere around there, minus 1.9. That's okay. Um, and then these are reacting at different time lengths. So integrated is looking at the whole program. Short term is looking at like the last maybe second or two. And then momentary is like looking at the last like 20 microseconds or milliseconds or something. Uh, so it's looking at it really quickly and you can see what happens. So we'll be looking at this uh, when we're trying to measure overall volume.